Now, we've uh, told you about uh, Claire O'Hara before. She's what they call a trick canoeist from Leeds, who won a silver medal two years ago at the World Championships in Canada. She describes the sport as underwater ballet in a boat. And it's certainly spectacular. <laughs> well, today she set off for the latest edition of the World Championships. And before she went, Neil Smallburn caught up with her for our, a last training session on British water. This is what Claire O'Hara does best, flips and turns in the water in her so-called squirt boat. In fact, she's so good she's already won a world silver medal. But training on flat water is for wimps. Where Claire really excels is on white water. I'm going to Switzerland to compete in the World Freestyle Kayaking Championships and my aim is to hopefully come back with a gold medal. When I went to Canada in 2007, that was for the World Cha that was the, the last World Kayaking Championships, and I competed in squirt boating where I won the silver medal, and also in freestyle kayaking where I came 10. This year I'm focusing all my attention on the squirt boating, and the plan is that um, hopefully by doing that I'll be in a, in a good position to fight for the top medal and come back world champion. What's bizarre to me is you're a girl from Leeds, mm -hmm. which isn't known for white water canoeing or any rapid water very much at all. How did you end up doing a sport like this? Yeah, it's a bit of a random, a random sport to get into from Leeds. It's actually, I got into it when I was a young, a young child. I went on adventure holidays in Wales and I went to, there's a, there's a Pugnese Country Park in Wakefield in Yorkshire. I went there, did a, a little bit of kayaking, really enjoyed it. And then as I grew older, I thought, actually, that's something I really want to do. We get one minute in the competition to do as many different tricks as we possibly can, which means getting the boat to go end over end in, at various different angles. And then we do something called a mystery, a mystery move, which is where you paddle into the river flow and get the boat to disappear underneath the river. And what's it feel like when you're under there? It's very strange. There's a lot of pressure on your boat. You can feel the pressure. You can, um, you can see all the different colours around you. And you very quickly run out of air. Unfortunately for Claire, she can't paddle to Switzerland. She set off in a van today, driving all the way. She's got a week or so training, and then it's the real thing. The championships and her quest for gold. Neil Smallburn, BBC Look North at the National Water Sports Centre near Nottingham. <laughs> Looks kind of wet, doesn't it? It does, yeah. 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 Seven, they're holding a healthy lead there, aren't they? Moving on, and it's congratulations to Leeds' Claire O'Hara, who's become the freestyle kayak world champion. She comfortably won the competition out in Switzerland this morning. So many congratulations to her. And in ice hockey, the Sheffield Steelers season... I think she's fantastic. You could say our next guest has been riding the crest of a wave quite literally because Yorkshire can now boast yet another world champion. She is Claire O'Hara from Leeds. Now, Claire's recently been competing in Switzerland and blown her other competitors out of the water. And she joins us now in the studio. Many congratulations. I mean, a fantastic Hi. achievement. Did you expect to get the clean sweep of titles which you now enjoy? No, not at all. I was really hoping to come back from this with the world champion gold, but you never you never really know. I'd train my hardest to get out there and do my best, but you don't, you, like, it's up in the air, really. Well, you're swirling around behind us. Where, where are you now? <laughs> Oh, this is in Nottingham at the National Water Sports Centre where I spend a lot so a of time lot training. So a lot easier than what you did last week? Yes, an awful lot easier. Let's have a look at what you had to put up with last week because we can actually see it now. This is you in Switzerland. Um, now, you're not in trouble there, are you, Claire? That's no, a no. deliberate move. Yeah, they're the tricks. The aim is to try and do as many many um, tricks as possible, getting the boat to go end over end in various different directions. And you get different amounts of points for the different, um, well, the difficulties of the tricks, really. Does it annoy you that it doesn't really get the kind of coverage that it should do, really? Because every other uh, uh, sport involving the water, you know, especially in the Olympics, gets yeah. massive coverage, doesn't it? Yeah, it is, a, it is. We're trying to develop it. It's a relatively new sport at the moment, and and this competition was actually part of its stepping stone to becoming an Olympic sport. It's um, the director of the Olympic Committee was there to try and, well, to to oversee the event and see if we can get it as a display event, maybe at 2012.